Hi kids, the check engine light is on again on the uh, 2003 Honda Element and it's because of this uh, EVAP valve, I hope, that's the code I'm getting anyway, so I'm going to replace it. There's a lot of videos on uh, YouTube showing you information about this valve, but really nothing showing you how to replace it, so we're going to cover that step by step. Hey Diesel, what are you doing? Start off by putting this up on a set of ramps. If you don't have any ramps, you can actually do this job without them if you're skinny enough. I think since I have the ramps, it'll make it a little nicer to have a little headroom and probably give me some better angles with the camera. So here's what the EVAP valve looks like outside here. That is the actual valve. It should open and close. There's the electrical connection. There's a hose. There's a hose. It hooks into a charcoal canister underneath the car. It's part of your emissions control system. But you don't have to pull the entire charcoal canister to replace this. I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it. Here's everything we need. A little screwdriver, a uh, little bit bigger screwdriver, and pliers for the electrical connection. And you know guys, I love this thing. So let's go. Where is it located, right? Well, if you come down here, past the rear suspension, hopefully you'll be able to find the back of your rear wheel, right? Well, there it sits right there. We're gonna start by taking the small screwdriver and working this and this plastic tab loose. So all we do is push that in, pull down on it. This is just a little um, gravel shield kind of thing. There. It's full of garbage, just like everything else in my Honda. Next, we're going to unplug this plug. This is the only electrical plug we have on this particular device. Easy like pie. Get yourself a pair of these. I mean it. Now we have to undo this hose, which just sticks on there. There's not even any clamps that hold it on. All right, right back here, there's a little plastic rivet <clears throat> that holds the back side of the shield to the metal frame that holds your charcoal canister in. Go ahead and take that out and that's gonna give you a whole lot more access to this back hose and everything. There, see, a whole lot more room. <clears throat> now, with that big thing pulled down, Take these pliers again and just grab that hose and just wiggle it back and forth till it pops off. Easy, easy like pie, I'm telling you. This is their valve that's going in from the junkyard. There are four of these tabs that hold this valve in. And we're just gonna pull them back and slide this out. And it can be a bit of a trick to get them all worked out at the same time. The trick that I do is go ahead and work your screwdriver under the top one and leave it in there and get another screwdriver or whatever you got, work it under the other one, leave it in there. Then you can work on these bottom ones, see? Just keep constant outward pressure on it it'll eventually turn loose. There's only one left holding it in. As soon as I get it going, there we go. That's it. <coughs> and this new one will make everything better. So we just pop that back in. It's gonna snap right back into the tabs that we just undid. There's a, an O-ring on this that you have to make sure is there, in good shape, and reseats back in there. Let's take the big hose and hook it up. Oh, 
I took a small hose back out. Pretty straightforward, right? Now our electrical connection. Let's go ahead and put our plastic rivet back in place. And the back snaps. That's it guys, it's no more tricky than that. Always pop the hood by putting your fingers behind this tab and pulling straight out on it. It is not hinged and it will not flip up and you will break it if you try to. To clear the check engine light, we unhook the negative battery terminal for a minute. Hook it back up, that will clear your check engine light codes and then we look to see if it comes back on. 10 millimeter by the way. Then we get it down off the ramps. So I hope this video is useful. Hope you go to the junkyard to get your parts. Hope you work on your own vehicle. Hope you make that check engine light stay out. Like and subscribe. See you next time on Scavenger Type.